second day of State Trooper Brian North's trial wrapped up just moments ago today. And the state called a few witnesses, introduced dozens of pieces of evidence from the fatal shooting back in 2020. North is the very first state trooper to be charged with manslaughter in over a decade. NBC Connecticut's Brisada Lundverde was in the courtroom today. Brisada, we understand one of the jurors had to be dismissed. What happened? Yeah, Mike and Keisha, that is correct. The judge said that the juror was having a hard time following along in the trial. He was replaced by an alternate. Now there are six jurors and two alternates in this trial. Today they heard testimony from a Lyft driver and a Norwalk police officer. Daniel Green telling the jury about what happened when he picked up 19-year-old Mubarak Suleiman for a Lyft ride. And he uh, let me know that he was purchasing a, a new phone. Green says on January 15th, 2020, he drove Suleiman to an AT&T store in Norwalk and waited outside for him. When Suleiman got back into the vehicle and the trip continued, Green says Suleiman hit him. So he asked me where, where, where was the phone, where was where we, where, where was we going, and I said to him, I don't know. No, I have to follow the GPS, and the GPS will let me know, like, where am I going? So he said to me, give me the phone. And I said, I'm not going to give him my phone. And then he, he slapped me. The rideshare driver pulled into a nearby gas station and got out. He pulled out a legally owned gun and told Suleiman to get out of his vehicle. You got out of your car and you pulled your gun because you were scared, correct? Yes, I was. He says Suleiman refused. Norwalk police officer Daniel Vasquez responded where he tried to get Suleiman out of the locked car. Suleiman drove away and led police on a chase. Where were you when you were told to stand down? We were still on Route 7. And I, I believe it was right before we got onto I-95 northbound. The pursuit later picked up again, and state police were able to stop Suleiman in West Haven. State Trooper Brian North shot Suleiman seven times after he displayed a knife. During both days of the trial, there have been several questions raised by both sides regarding what information was being shared between police. Do you recall whether either you or some other member of Norwalk PD said during that interaction, he jacked the Uber, he jacked the Uber. Do you remember someone saying that? I do not, sir. Prosecutors called to the stand a state police commanding officer to discuss the agency's use of force policy, and they introduced several items of evidence from January 15th, including shell casings, Trooper North's firearm, and taser wire. The closer the distance, the less effect the taser is going to have. And the trial continues again tomorrow at 10 a.m. here in Milford. Live in Milford, Brisada Verde, NBC Connecticut News. Mike, we'll send it back to you.